I don't know how to explain this, but do you remember a Nick Jr. show from the 2000s? It's called Dora the Explorer. It was about this little girl named Dora who loved exploring with her best friend Roots the Monkey. I used to love this show to death, just alongside other shows such as The Backyardigans, Wow well, Wopsy, and Peppa Pig. But Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. kept that dark secret from this show until I discovered. One day, I was getting ready to go shopping with my parents. When we get to the store, I went to the DVD aisle. I stepped on a DVD that was on the floor. When I picked it up, it looked very dirty and scratched. The discs said, Dora the Explorer, the Lost Pilot. It had one character on the disc, specifically Dora herself. I was like, hmm, this must be the Lost, this must be the Dora the Explorer pilot because I've never seen before. So I bought the DVD, took it to my house, and put it in my DVD player. The DVD started with the Nickelodeon logo with the text May 12, 1998 below it. This made me think this was a very old pilot of the show. The pilot started with the theme song, just with, with a sequence that's very similar to the season 1 theme song. But the music sounds very cheesy and a bit distorted. When the episode started, it, sh it started off with Dora and Boots and Benny the Bull and Tico the Squirrel. But in this episode, he wasn't a squirrel, he was a skunk. Their voices also sounded very, very different. They didn't sound like children or more like stereotypical voices. Dora sounding like Mirabel from Encanto. Boots having a high pitched voice. Tico sounding from Spain. And Benny sounding with a very deep voice. I'm guessing either Dora and her friends weren't children in the pilot, or the people who made it didn't use child actors, but instead of those who are really bad at doing child voices. When and then Dora asks her friends what they should do first. Boots suggests going to have a race. Benny suggests to have some play dates. And Tico suggests having a snack. Then all three of them started to argue until Dora stopped them. Dora said that they should first have a race and then get a snack. So they all agreed. And then the map appeared and he sang his song. But just but the music also sounded very cheesy and distorted just like the theme song. And then he said that the race consists of from the bridge to the hill and to Dora's house. So they raced and raced and raced until they finally got to Dora's house. And there was Swiper the Fox. And he was about to swipe Dora's backpack. But Dora then said, Stop, Swiper! And instead of Swiper no swiping, which fun! And he stopped. Which made me a little confused. Dora then said Swiper that they were going to have a snack. Swiper sounded very interested and asked what snack they were having. Then it started then creepy music started playing in the background and, and while the camera was zooming to Dora's face. I was getting about to get nervous and, and wondering what will happen next. It wasn't until Dora finally says in a very loud and demonic voice. She says it so loud that my room starts to shake with me jumping in shock. Boots then grabs Swiper and tears off his ear. And then starts munching on it while it started blotting. Swiper starts screaming in pain and started to run away. But Boots then and Tico have grabbed him and then try and then remove his tail and start munching it. And then Dora and Benny grab Swiper and cut his head off and start eating it. Dora then gets up. Pieces of, of fur are all over her jaw. She looks around her. Boots 
Tico and Benny are still eating Swiper's body. She looks at the camera and says in the demonic voice again. You are gonna have a wonderful time in the rainforest exploring with me and my friends. Lots and lots of exploring fun. Then the pilot ends. I was so traumatized, so I grabbed the DVD, put it back in the case, then grabbed my baseball bat, started to smash it into pieces. I was completely traumatized. The characters of one of my favorite childhood shows literally killed the show's main villain. But to be honest, this did not ruin my childhood at all. I wasn't really offended by this episode. I mean, a lot, I've seen a lot of other creepy things like movies and shows. Anyways, if you see a DVD, very dirty, bait with that says it, it contains the fi your, uh, your favorite chocolate show's pilot episode, I highly recommend it. You do not buy it or watch it at your own risk. <laughs>